But that was the same scenario with Nick Suriano. Suriano had teched him twice and he beat Nick. You can't count Zane Richards out of this matchup. 100% and I can't believe it. Final X just oh, about to get underway. We got the opening whistle coming up right now. Let's go. Handshake and we are underway. Match number one, 57 kilograms in the red. That's Thomas Gilman, Nittany Lion Wrestling Club. Taking on Zane Richards, from Illinois, RTC. The classic style. Zane Richards has really made an effort to improve in the hand fight. You see him get to his underhook. It's Gilman you expect to see on his underhook. Gilman wrestles really well out of a left side underhook, but can attack both sides. There you see him getting to that left side. He does a great job driving towards the edge of the mat, forces bad shots, can run behind or just get easy step out points. But right now with Zane Richards, you see him grounding himself, feeling that pressure from Gilman. Has to put himself on the knee so he doesn't give up the step out point. So that's not stopping Gilman. Looks he's trying to get up underneath to bring him back to his feet. Gilman won't score a point because Zane Richards grounded himself, which means he dropped to his knees before he stepped out of bounds. Zane staying grounded in that position, already a tactical adjustment. Gilman has scored so many points in their previous two matches from driving Zane to the edge. So already a good adjustment. Oh, Gilman on a shot. Sweep single now standing for Thomas Gilman. Wizard here for Zane Richards. Now the wizard is cleared. He has him towards the edge so he can work for one, an easy step out or try to finish. He looks at the club and step behind now. Backside finish attempt there from the Dragon. They're going to get the one. Thomas Gilman strikes first. 1-0 lead, 154 to go in the first period. I like what Gilman did there. He didn't just drive him straight out and take the one. He gave himself an opportunity for the two, but didn't forfeit the one. So really nice by Gilman. Gilman's tactics are ever evolving and improving, and one of the key developments for him over the last couple of years. Nice. Look for that shot there, and now he's grabbing the elbow as they come back up. Short offense position here, potentially for Gilman. As you see, he's driving him toward the edge, and as he gets to the zone, Zane drops to his knees for the second time this match, and they're gonna blow him up, bring him back to center. Halfway through this first period, just 1-0, and the longer this thing, match stays close, the better it is for Zane Richards. One thing you can't discount is the pace of Thomas Gilman. It can take a toll on his, his opponents. As we got a big five on the other mat, Greco. And there's gonna be a passive warning against Zane Richards. His first warning, not on the clock yet. He'll have to get hit a second time to go on the clock. And you see Zane try to throw that by. Gilman though, back on a shot. Same side for that sweep single. Now Gilman, you say he's extended here, but look, we've seen him do it throughout his career. Big lift. And the crotch there, trying to get him to a standing single. He does. Still that wizard for Zane Richards as he brings him to the edge. He's got one, working for two, and they're going to give the one. And you know what? Really nice adjustment there by Thomas Gilman. We've talked about the improvements Richards has made, but one of the things that, that used to be a knock against Gilman was he could get to a leg but had trouble finishing. He has shored that up, and he's gotten to be a really good finisher. He didn't stay extended, brought that thing back up, and got the step out. And 99% of all wrestlers, that you get to that lock on that single, that extended, you don't have the power or the technique to finish it, but Gilman able to get up to his feet, drive him to the edge for one, extending his lead now, 2-0, 20 seconds to go in the first period. And he's got Zane Richards towards the zone once more. They'll blow it dead, bring him back to center. 15 to go in this first period. If either one of these guys can get a score in this remaining seconds of this period, it'll be huge. Richards gets to a shot. Head outside shot here for Zane Richards, trying to finish with short time. He's close, but looking to sit the corner is Gilman as time expires, no exposure there. Time was up, but a great shot from Zane Richards, proving he can get in on the legs. Finishing will be another matter. If he had a little more time, maybe he would have got two. Yeah, and he kind of got to that high crotch position. Crack. He's really good in the high crotch. That's a position that he's he's been hitting since college, and, and you know, before that, I wonder you know, if he learned a little something. He can get in on the legs of Thomas Gilman. And he's within two. You know, a, a takedown would put Zane Richards in the lead by criteria. This is freestyle wrestling. There are no ties. Someone is always winning. Someone is always losing as we are underway now in the second period. Talked about Gilman's pace. Zane has a really nice pace as well. You saw in that, that US Open final with Nick Soriano. He was able to force Soriano to make a mistake late, and it was really pace that did that. Wrist on the left side for Gilman, driving an underhook on the right momentarily. We've seen a left-sided single leg for Gilman primarily, but he can attack both sides. Trying to clear out of that tie. You see St. Richards wants out of that underhook. And he clears. 
There's a shot, but there's a go behind in this too. And that is Zayden Richards' best position. His go behind to his right is really fast. That's how he took out Nick Soriano. And he just took down Thomas Gilman. It's 2-2, criteria lead for Zayn Richards. And Gilman cannot rest under there. He gets blown back up, but Zane Richards has really good parterre offense as well. He's got a good gut wrench, and he can make you pay if he gets on top. Gilman immediately jacks an underhook, brings him to towards the edge. Now in the zone is Zane Richards, but a hard wizard. This is a key position for Zane. He is good in this wizard. He, he has gotten out of some tricky situations, but look at that. Gilman continues to attack. Are they going to give a step out? Yes, they are. And no. Caution and one offered, and not confirmed. Just a, just a one. So 3 2 Gilman. A one-pointer for Zane would put him back in the lead by criteria. And it was a criteria victory over Nick Soriano in the U.S. Open Finals. So not an unfamiliar position for Zane Richards. Richards kind of finally starting to take a little bit of ground. It's been Gilman who's been winning the center of the mat battle throughout. Hard snap. Good, good snap from Zane Richards. And now underhook on the left side for Zane Richards, but Gilman has good head position, and Zane indicating to the ref, he's like, hey, he's tying up my fingers, tying up my hand. So they'll blow it dead, give him a restart. 90 seconds to go, sweep single, but way extended it is Gilman. Feed him some hips now as Zane Richards, now looking to drag maybe right side. Now they come up to their feet over under position now. Good job, Gilman recovering back up to his feet and staying in strong position. And Gilman digging this underhook. He's got to be aware. Zane Richards does have an arm spin that he can hit. Yeah. Zane Richards, very savvy upper body. And that's one area where he can really contend with Gilman. Is he's not uncomfortable in the, at getting the underhooks or defending underhooks. Shot, but there, once again extended. Now stepping over is Zane Richards. He puts the leg in, but the arm is in between. This is not a great position for Zane Richards. And now lifted up in the air. What is going on? Behind the back now a wizard seatbelt. More of a standard position here for Gilman and Richards. Absolutely crazy sequence right now. 40 seconds to go. Gilman recovers up. Hard to believe no points were scored in that sequence. That was unbelievable. And I wonder if Zane got a little too ambitious trying to throw that boot in without that arm cleared. If he clears that arm, he may have a more simple go behind. But as it stands, it's a one point match. There's a shot, it's a takedown for Zane Richards. He's in the lead, 4 3, 23 seconds to go. Threw that underhook by and got on top, and he wants his gut wrench bad. Not going to get it. They're going to come back to their feet. Now, Thomas Gilman has to come get one. He needs two. One won't do it for Gilman. He's going to have to get a takedown. Gilman needs to get to five points. And we're underway here, closing seconds of this match, 13 to go. Zane underhook, what does Gilman have? Gilman's got to clear out of this underhook, just five seconds to go. And that is going to do it. Zane Richards continues his run of upsets and takes out Thomas Gilman in match number one. Six minutes into final X, we already have an upset that nobody would have predicted. And Gilman and uh, his corner, they'll head back and they'll have to make some adjustments. Absolutely. And Zane Richards, look at him, sprinting off the mat, fired up. And he says one more.